the last one I want to talk about uh, is Shirabako, which um, the anime about anime. The anime about making uh. anime. So I have a Shirabako pen that I am sporting um, because I really, really adore this show. Um, I think it's done really well. Uh, I don't, it's hard to, for me to like super talk about it because there's a lot going on. It's it's about sort of five friends who are in an anime club, not like this one, but anime. a ma- anime making club. Yeah, anime. Right. <laughs> um, a club where they work on anime together um, and they are like, yeah, we're gonna get in the anime industry and we're gonna all make this really great anime together. And then it kind of goes forward two years and all of them are kind of they're like in the industry, but it's like not what they guess, what they expected. Yeah, and um, I really like that because it's very real. Mm-hmm. I kind of experience that with the gaming industry, not in a negative way, but getting into the game in- game industry is very different from what you might expect. Um, the work is very different, mm-hmm. and you can kind of see that reflected in each of the friends. Um, like one, the one who's a voice actress is really struggling to find work, mm-hmm. and she goes to a sort of audition where they're just recording kind of like background noise and they don't really like her and she's struggling a lot. Uh, The artist is still finding her footing and she doesn't know how to find her style. And um, there's this really nice scene where her, like, not senpai, I guess she's her senpai, um, where like one of the more experienced animators is kind of talking to her, like everybody copy someone at first until they learn the motions and then they develop their own style. And it's just this really beautiful conversation like in this foresty sort of woodsy area. Um, There's a lot of, really sweet, really wonderful things in the show, Mm -hmm. very real relationships. And uh, I want to talk about Taro, the worst. Taro's the worst. (laughs) He's, uh, yeah, Yeah. he's- um, I'm only two episodes in it. Oh, okay, (laughs) well, you've met Taro. Yeah, yeah. He's the- um, He's assistant producer. He's an assistant producer and he's sort of a screw up, but it's hard to hate him because he's trying really hard, but he's super, bad and he screws things up for people he's very brash too, yeah. yeah and it it's another one of those interactions that feels very real and very natural mm-hmm. um and it feels like that would happen at a studio is like one of the assistant producers screws something up and then you have to scramble and get the key animations done and the coloring done and dubbing done in a super crunch time and they come together and during the first cur they're making exodus uh, and they come together and kind of put out this product, and it's really beautiful to see. Um, it's interesting you're only two episodes in because you do work in sort of anime. Um, I, yeah, it's the, the biggest thing is just, I guess, time constraints, uh, restrictions, but I definitely, it's something I'm definitely watch all the way through. Mm-hmm. One reason why I really enjoy the show is uh, I love how the sausage is uh, being see how the sausage is made mm-hmm. and that definitely the process and it gives me a more appreciation of anime yeah. and just that culture in general so yeah exactly it, it kind of made me realize how much goes into every single episode because yeah. I didn't really think about that too much um, you know it's easy to look at a show and criticize like oh the animation really dropped in quality here like what happened and then watching Shirabako I kind of get more sympathy sympathy for that actually like Obviously, it's still fair to critique something and say, you know, the animation doesn't look good in this episode, like episode four of Gurren Lagann, uh, <laughs> which I'm still like, that, what happened? But um, it is really cool to see, like, there's something happened where they didn't get the, you know, the storyboards done in time, or they didn't get the dubbing done in time, and they kind of had to pull it together. And it's mm-hmm. remarkable that they could even put an episode out sometimes. Yeah. And um, it really helped me understand, like, there's a lot that goes into every single an- episode of an anime that you really enjoy. Yeah. And you think about, like, the anime, like, weeklies that come out, where it's just, like, mm-hmm. you know, how much churn there has to be yeah. to be able to get all that stuff out there, mm-hmm. everything in sync. So, yeah. I mean, it's that... It's that, you know, pulling the curtain back. You know, it's the mm-hmm. same with, like, you know, game development where yeah. it's, like, you know, people don't often think about all the things that can potentially go awry in a development process and how, like, everyone really just needs to pull together to scramble to get everything where it needs to be. So yeah. I think that, I don't know, it's, it's a cool little... Uh, inclusion into that uh, into that space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it always makes me mad when people are like, oh, this developer was lazy or the animators were lazy. It's like, that's not at all what is going on. Yeah. So I think that Shirobako really 
makes that clear. Like, this is all the work that goes into making your favorite anime. So if there's a drop in quality or something happens, it's not because they're like, eh, we don't care. It's more like yeah. something happened in the process. Something happened, and they got it out anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely watch Shirobaka if you haven't, and you want to learn a little bit more about the anime making process. Of course, it is an anime so it's not a it's not a documentary. It's yeah. not going to be you know one to one true to how things are. But I think it does give a really cool, uh, gives you insight into kind of what goes goes on. So definitely check that out if you like anime, which I hope you do. Yay, yeah. anime! <laughs> yeah, if yeah, not, anime. why are you here? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe they want to broaden their Respect, horizons. Yeah. Everyone is welcome in the anime club. 